Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it's gas time once again. Um, and um, this time around, I don't really have a whole lot. Um, but let me just go ahead and uh, intro the uh, Matra Walk here. Um, you brought, you guys have probably seen this before. This is going to be uh Toronto Islands, and again, just picking up where I left off from uh from Tuesday's cast. So, uh, we're in. Hamlet's Point Beach to Center Island Pier. So. Yeah, I, w I was going to say something, but... Yeah, screw it. Oh, that's what I was wanting to say. Um, just like the other cast videos, this is going to be kind of a two-in-one. Um, it's going to be both a cast video, you know, talking about my day and stuff. And it's also going to be a commentary video, just talking about the nature walk. And, and uh, for those that are curious, there was a, about a week ago, there was a, uh, one of my favorite channels, Not Just Bikes. They had a video up that was uh, talking about this being the, the only car-free place in all of Canada. So, looked like a pretty, inter looked pretty interesting, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do some cast videos on it. And it looks like we're going into potential creepazoid mode here. It, you know, where he's going to be, uh, he's going to be walking, walking close behind other people. Okay. That's what this was. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to have to jump ahead on this. Um, I play this exact part. Uh, on Tuesday's cast video, so let me just shoot it up to 15 minutes. <clears throat> Thought it looked pr pretty familiar. Okay. Um, so, anyway, uh, to start with, rough week at work. Uh, by the time everything got up, I mean, my lower back is in a shambles. Um, my neck's kind of, neck's kind of hurting a little bit. Both of my hands are kind of hurting a little bit, a little bit tender. Just from, uh, just from doing a lot of, uh, a lot of grabbing and pulling and yanking and stuff like that. Trying to, trying to carry heavy shit with, like, one hand. So, I've, I've had this happen before where, um. By the time I did, by the time the day is over, it's like, it's like my wrists and sometimes even the tops of my hands are kind of a little bit tender. So, so the way it's looking right now, um, there's, oh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a judgment call when I wake up, but uh, I'm probably not probably gonna have to forego the workout. So it just, I don't wanna. I don't want to make things any. I don't want to potentially make things any worse going into the uh, next work week. So. And yeah, that's um. You're hardly gonna. You're hardly gonna see any. You're hardly gonna see any vehicles around here. Um, the only motorized ones you're gonna see are uh, golf carts. And um. Uh, Throughout this uh, whole video so far, I've only seen maybe like two or three. Otherwise, the rest of them are all those uh, those four wheel four wheel golf cart bicycle type thingies. I don't know the technical name for them. What is that? Oh, watch for heavy equipment. Uh, but otherwise, for the um, for the pinball stream today, it um, a really really goofy session. Um, I think the start was about five ten minutes in. About five ten minutes in, my internet just hiccuped. It just suddenly stopped working for like a minute or two, and then like, hmm, okay. But yeah, just a moment. 
But, uh, came back on, and, like, the whole session was, like, really, again, it was, like, really goopy. Um, it was either, either I would do just great on a table, or I would just do absolute dog shit. But there wasn't, like, any uh, middle ground or anything. Um, I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. You know, but, um, but overall, though, I mean, the session went pretty good, but it's just really inconsistent. I think there was something else I was wanting to say, too. I can't remember what it was. Oh, and, um, but yeah, and then, um, towards the end of the session... Uh, just, just the lower back and the, um, the hands from the, um, constant flipping, you know, constant, you know, using the controller and all that, the, uh, my hands are starting to get a little tender, so, so yeah, I, I, basically, I ended up having to stop the session, or end the session abruptly, and let me, I'm just, I'm just reading this. It's one of our lifeguards can see you. Stay within arm's reach of children. Yep. Listen to the on-duty lifeguards. Wear sunscreen and drink water. Avoid substance use while swimming. Keep the beach clean. Yeah, basic stuff. Oh, and um, one other thing, I totally forgot to add this to the uh, video, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go pull it up. What was that? Still working on it. Now, uh, there might be a blue screen coming up here. But uh, I'll try to stop it as, to, as quick as I can. Okay, got it. Still working on it. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, this this area here kind of looks familiar, so apparently I didn't fast forward far enough. And, um, I wonder how far I got then. I wonder if I'm just, uh, completely recycling old stuff. Here, I'm, I've, I've got to double check this, so. Some poor preparation. Checking something else. All right, some up. Uh... Okay, there we go. Stopped it. Okay. 
So, it looks like I looks like I did leave off here. Yeah. Okay. Let me back up. I want to see this. Oh, God damn it, Joe. Hang on. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. Can't have to black screen it. I fucked it up. Okay, now. I'm trying to look over here on the right side. Um, okay. Novel coronavirus. That looks kind of cool. It's like uh, no matter how you look at it, it says novel coronavirus. That's pretty neat. Okay, but anyway, um, I saw a cool as hell video from uh, another channel I sub to, Action Games. Um, they talk about fighting games and stuff, and one of their videos was about Gacha games. Um, I've heard the term before, but I always thought, um, it's basically, uh, it, um, another way of looking at it, it's called loot box games, you know, games with loot boxes, um, they're descended from, uh, Gasha, Gasha machines, like, well, when, um, when I, when I hear the term every so often, I'm like, gotcha, I'm thinking they're, they're meaning gotcha as in, gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha Suckers you out of your money. Ha ha ha. You know, you stupid swills, you know, and that kind of thing. I thought that's what it meant. <laughs> Suckers. God, people are so gullible. But not me, though. I've never been scammed once because I'm perfect. You know, that kind of crap. But no, um, Gasha is, uh, it's, I forgot the, uh, technical name for it, but, uh, Gasha is, uh, Korean word for, again, for vending machine. Never, but I thought pretty pretty interesting. Um, apparently the concept of uh, the concept of loot boxes goes back a while. Like I think uh, they said like back in the '60s or something like that. Yeah, this this is familiar here. So okay, here's where I left off. Okay, this it's coming back to me. Yeah, so I've. Yeah, so most of the footage on here is basically recycled from yesterday. So, yeah, some really poor preparation on my part for this video. Yeah, I think I think it was here where I left off. So I'll probably have to type down like recycled footage or something. But anyway, um, but yeah, um, I've been um, and yeah, I've, I've fallen for it too. Um, it, from um, I'm trying to think, from Farmville, Farmville comes to mind. Uh, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the Facebook games have that kind of scammy mechanic. Has that uh, scammy mechanic in there? Um, the worst ones have, uh, they have, like, energy or stamina meters or whatever. Like, you can only do, like, two or three actions an hour or whatever. But, uh, if you pay this microtransaction, you'll get two more actions an hour. You know, that kind of thing. But, yeah, that, that believe it or not, that actually does go back to those gotcha machines in, uh, Korea. But yeah, pretty, 
pretty prevalent these days. It's like a lot of them have some kind of uh, loot box mechanic. Oh, I'm uh, taking another drink. going next oh damn old granny on roller skates center of the arts Natural Science School. Oh, this will be interesting. Although, um, I'm probably going to be winding down here soon. So. What is that? Max speed, 20 kilometers. They should have a... They should have a bike sign in there as well. I mean, I can't imagine people walking 30 miles an hour if my uh, math is right. But, but again, um, in case I didn't say earlier, yeah, I've I've fallen for uh, for those gotcha mechanics numerous times, so so I'm no spring chicken, Terry Kimball Lane. No, it just kind of, it just kind of occurred to me. I might have said this uh, on one of my earlier casts. Yeah, get that out of there. I should almost I should almost stream this. I mean, this seems like something I could, I'd, I'd probably want to do, you know, do a lot more with it than just do like a 15-minute video. Um, hang on, whoa, 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 let me back up, let me back up. I thought that looked like, um, that looks almost like, I want to say the comic, or, no, oh, excuse me, the comic sand spawn. But yeah, apparently, uh, they have schools here, too. But yeah, this is this is almost something that I should be streaming, not just making a video on. Yeah, and I think um, once he leaves this area, I'll probably uh, I'll probably end the vid, which looks like he's about to do. I got some kind of gathering going over there. I think once he, uh, I'm guessing he's heading to the shore. Um, once he gets there, I'll probably kill it. Yeah, 
Is that a Germany flag? Oh wait, no, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any black on that one. Yeah, that's just two colors. Uh, is that a nudie beach? Is it? Oh no, that's a guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're getting a bit in the, uh, getting a little bit into stalker territory here. Just gonna zip past that. Like I said, you, I've seen um, I've I've seen other videos like this, like during a uh, city walks where it looks like looks like the uh the camera person is stalking them. What the hell? Where it looks like the camera person stalking them, like they're like following really close behind them and stuff. So yeah, whenever I see that, I skip it. So. Um, but otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. Um, I think I've, uh, I've said all the things I wanted to say this morning, so, which wasn't really that much. So. Uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.